I am back for the second and final video. Ladies and gentlemen, have you got the opportunity to watch the very first video of the day? If not, smash that bell. And of course, you will get a notification from YouTube. And during my viewers, I will discuss my social media accounts after this video is completely over. Now, once again, sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, or grab something to drink, or maybe, just maybe, you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions on this lovely subject. And of course, the link will be down below, or the article will be down below. Now, this video, there will be a link, so check it out for yourselves. Let's get into this conversation. Now, do you agree with RVD? It's been a while since I've done that. What RVD says believes that Paul Heyman is the greatest booker of all time. Now, I agree with RVD. You may not agree with RVD, but everyone has an opinion number on this situation. During the latest edition of one of one sorry one of a kind podcast, the twenty one ECW and WWE and TN, TNA Impact Wrestler Champion comment on Paul Heyman booking skills. Rowling joins with the latest Iron Sheik and more. That's still sad that Iron Sheik died. He had a very good life and an amazing wrestling career, bar none. I'm not a fan of him at all, but he did. He he put a lot of things in his life, you know. He paved the way for the current wrestlers of today. Probably not saying that correctly, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah, Paul Heyman, or back in the day, used to call him Paul E. Dangerously. Very good as a manager, behind the scenes, all that good stuff. And look, at, he's still on TV to this day. So, he's awesome. I cannot imagine if he ever retires. Probably will never re retire. I don't know if he has kids. I don't know if you're married. I have no idea. Some people are just married to the business and that's it. So, so people, what version do you like of Paul Heyman? Paul E. Dangerously? Or just Paul Heyman. What version do you like of him? Do you like when he used to run the original of ECW? Do you like when he managed Brock Lesnar? Do you like when he was part of the ball line? What version do you like of Paul Heyman? I was just wondering. Do you like when he gets involved with his matches sometimes? When he takes a, a hit? Takes a bump? How do you feel about that stuff? I think it's very impressive. You know, this guy, oh yeah, I forgot, he managed CM Punk back then too. And of course, Mr. Perfect Son, I think that part was a total fail in that part. I'm sorry, it was a fail. And then didn't he manage right back one time? Let me know down below. And of course, all his guys he managed was not all successful. You know, right back was a disappointing. I think he managed him, and then the other ones did not really work out very well. And I think the CM Punk thing was very amazing. Okay, love it, hate it. It was awesome. So, all that good stuff, you know. And what else? Um, if anyone ever met Paul Heyman, please let me know. I don't know if he does meet and greets during WrestleMania weekend. Probably not. You just gotta catch him on a good day. This guy is always busy. Always busy. You know? On camera. Probably off camera. Does he ever spend time relaxing without the, the camera in front of him? Maybe, maybe not. It's just a topic. I don't want to piss off anyone. This is just a random topic. Now, let me continue with RVD. Okay? This guy, off the record... Has an amazing career in a wrestling career. He did. Mr. Money Bank, Intercontinental Champion, Tag Team Champion, and he did a lot of good things in a lot of other wrestling companies. I know he he smokes weed. Who cares? Everyone does it, you know? So, how do you feel? I know this will never happen if he come back to WWE RVD and join forces with Matt Riller because they both smoke weed. They do all that good stuff. 
for them, but it probably will never happen. You know, maybe like in if you download the, if you play a, the latest video game, it will happen. But probably Triple H want to deal with that stuff. You know, you know, and probably Triple H smokes that stuff too. You know, without his wife knowing, you never say never. Or do you think Triple H is clean and cut? Probably he has to be clean and cut because he has to go to work every day, you know? And he has to work behind the scenes, you know? I, I, I never knew that RVD smoked that stuff until I found out about it online, you know, a while ago. And um, probably did it in the ECW days and Paul Heyman did not give a flying crap. And about Matt Riller, I don't like him. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Everybody have a point. I prefer RVD than Matt Riller. What about you? You like both guys or you prefer RVD? Now, that's all I got to say. Okay. Now, let's just stick with the subject. Okay, people. Sorry, I went a little overboard. Now, follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok. All my social media accounts will be down below. If you want to be part of the Robert Show, that's fine in the end. If not, don't worry about it. But please, someone out there, DM me on there. You know, the link will be down below and all good stuff. We have a good time with you. We could discuss about all about wrestling or non-wrestling related. Have a good one. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday. Peace out and sayonara.